Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to learn how I made my pin. Please keep in mind that I am only a beginner and I still have a lot to learn. The pin mod was created from scratch. Just so I can have a pin to use to learn tricks. It's not a professional pin or based off of any models of pins. So it might have its flaws but for me I liked it a lot and I learned a lot of tricks from using this pen so I hope you will too. I would also like to mention that we will be using tools so if you need make sure you get your guardian's permission and or assistance. With that being said let's get right into the video. So before we begin I would like to take a quick moment to remind you if you are new to my channel or if you are not already a subscriber please take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. By you subscribing to my channel it shows me that you support my videos and at the same time ding and ring that bell that way you won't ever have to wonder if I ever posted a video. Before we begin, I would like to mention that these are the materials that you need. The first material you need will be two Crayola Super Tips. The second material will be one big round pin. Third one will be two Pilot G2 pin grips. The fourth one will be two Dr. Grip grips. The fifth one will be two Dr. Grip tips the sixth material will be clear tape seventh one will be pipe cutters or you could use box cutters or any type of cutters that you feel comfortable using and lastly we will need needle nose pliers or any type of tools that you can use to replace pliers I just use needle nose pliers I don't know man so the first thing you need to do is get the needle nose pliers and one of your Crayola super tips. From there, you will want to remove the tip of the Crayola. When you're removing the tip of the Crayola, make sure you have a firm grip on the tip, but not a hard one. If you have a tight or a hard grip, you might cut off the tip. So once you have the firm grip, just pull down on the tip of the Crayola. You just pull the tip out and it should remove easily. So moving on to the next one, you would want to remove the end of the Crayola pin. My pin, for example, is brown in the back, so I'm removing the brown part of the Crayola. So from my experience, this is the hardest part of making this pin because removing the back is just a big struggle, man. It's just a big struggle. So when you move the back, make sure you're not trying to scrape the white part of the pin. It's important that you do not do not hurt it and how I remove the back part of the pin I take the pliers and then I just grip the back squeeze it down try to make it into an oval and then after that I stick it in pulled it out I had the most trouble with this took me a while so I had cut the film and yeah Once you finish with that, just take the back part of the pin and then take the ink from the inside out. It should be easy taking the ink out. You just turn the um, Crayola pin out. And once you finish with that, rinse, rinse and repeat and do it for the other Crayola pin. In the video, you see me pointing my finger where you should start and then where you should end. Uh, you want to measure out about 1.5 centimeters uh, length. Uh, this is usually a preference. You could cut out as uh, much as you want or as little as you want. I personally like 1.5 centimeters, so I went from there. And so once that's done, you measure it out, you m make your markings, you take your whatever tools you're using to cut it. In the video, I'm using a PVC pipe cutter. And yeah, you just cut out the tip. And once you remove that, you could toss the other end away but keep the actual rod and rinse and repeat for the second Crayola pen. And after that, you will take the round big pen that you have. Unfortunately, I don't have a clip. 
but what you uh, want to do is take the bic and remove the ink from the inside make sure you have the ink out because if you don't it's gonna spray all over you man if you try to cut through it so from there okay you cut out three centimeters in length of the bic i'm just gonna call it bic now and um yeah you just cut out three centimeters and you use that as a connector to connect the crayola pins together The next step would be to take the Dr. Grip's tip and the Dr.'s grip grip and put them together. Uh, is this, if you have a hard time putting the tip into the grip, try to add water. That usually helps. And once you finish with that, do the same for the other. You should have two at the end. After that, you'll want to take your two g2 pilot grips i don't have a video to show but what you want is you will want to cut five section out of the grip what i mean by five section is when you count on the lines of the grip you actually see lines on the grip you count five of them and then you cut and from there you just take those grip and you put it into the crayola you try to push it through if it's like again if it's gonna be hard and if you struggle with it just add a little bit of water before you try to take the grip and put it in the pin that would help a lot And all you really need is to get the grip in and once you see the white part of the Crayola pins on top of the grip, you can actually just use your thumb and start pushing it down and it will be a lot easier when you do it that way so you don't hurt your hand trying to push down the grip too much. So yeah, you can see that in the video. And so once you finish with that, you just rinse and repeat with the other grip on the other end of the Crayola pin right just do the same exact thing And from there, you take the tape and you just get enough to where it don't wrap around each other more than once. Just pull out a tape. I don't know what's the length. I just grab a amount and I just place it on the Crayola pen. This helps the Dr. Grips when you put it on the pen later uh, have some type of friction. So that way the grip don't fly out the pen as easy is it'll help a lot so you try to take the tape put it on the end of the um, Crayola pins just so you know it will help out and you do it on both ends and take the grip that you got and put it on the Crayola pin and do that twice on both ends and voila you're finished you have my pin that I made if you've made it to the end of the video, I want to say thank you very, very much. It means so much to me and I really am appreciative of you for doing that. If this video helped you a lot, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so and leave your thoughts and comments 
below. I hope this pin will help you a lot in training or practicing pin tricks like it did for me. So that's all I have for today and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.